Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill and today I'm talking to you from my little hoop house in my garden. I live in Spokane, Washington where we have a very cold winter every year. And all summer long I'm growing this big vegetable garden and we preserve a lot of it so that we can enjoy it through the winter. But the one thing that I find I miss the most during the winter months is fresh greens. So two years ago, I decided to conduct an experiment to find out if I could actually grow some through the winter so that we could enjoy them. Well, I did do it and I had a little bit of success and so I was very excited to try again. Last winter, I tried and I did a better job of picking some more cold tolerant vegetable crops and had even more success. So you know me, I'm totally hooked on it now. And here we are, we're coming into the fall months. I've already been doing some planning about what I'm going to grow. And the big thing I wanted to explain is that you don't have to have something as fancy as this simple hoop house. I'm gonna show you an alternative that is very simple and easy. So today is the first in a series of videos about growing veggies through the winter months in cold climates. So let's get started. The most important consideration for growing veggies through the winter is to pick a nice sunny location. As you know, the sun gets low in the sky during the winter months, so you need to give your plants all the help they can get. Don't pick a spot that's next to a building, next to a huge tree, anything like that. Make sure they get lots of sunshine. I made a mistake on that last winter and so I want to emphasize that for you so that you don't make that mistake. Now this winter I'm growing my veggies in these two raised beds. This one isn't empty yet, but this one is, so I'm ready to prepare it. What I do to prepare it is I lightly loosen the soil and the veggies that I'm growing are mostly going to need a lot of nitrogen. So I'm going to add in some compost and a little bit of organic vegetable fertilizer. The next important consideration, and this is so important, is to choose very cold tolerant vegetable crops. You know, the last couple of winters, one of the mistakes I made was to choose cool season crops and they tended to do sort of okay, but they really weren't that tolerant of our very cold winter temperatures. About a month ago, I started kale plants from seed indoors, as well as minatina, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. The reason I started them ahead of time rather than just directly planting them in the garden is because I wanted to give them the opportunity to grow a nice root system the more established the plants are before the really cold weather hits, the better they will do. An important lesson I've learned. So let me show you some ideas of very cold tolerant vegetables and you'll get some ideas of what you might want to grow in your winter garden. Kale is a cold tolerant green that grew really well for me last winter. Vates is considered the hardiest, followed by winter boar, star boar, rip boar, and red boar. The next three greens are unusual but extremely cold tolerant. First there's minatina, which I started indoors a few weeks ago. It grows in rosettes and you use the cut and come again method of harvesting. It's supposed to be lightly crunchy but not fibrous. This is corn salad, also known as mosh. Vit is the most recommended cultivar. I grew it last winter and absolutely nothing faced it. You harvest an entire plant at a time and it has a mild, slightly nutty flavor. I'm growing Claytonia or miner's lettuce for the first time this winter. It's considered to be the hardiest winter salad green you can grow. Johnny's Selected Seeds catalog describes the flavor as, quote, wild and fresh, unquote. It's another cut and come again green. This is Bordeaux spinach. While it's not thought of as being super hardy, I grew it in my winter garden two years ago and was shocked by how well it did. I like the burgundy veins and stalks and it's really tasty. It might only make it until December or January, but I'm definitely going to grow it again. Use the cut and come again method. 
Lettuce is also not super cold tolerant, but I've grown it through the fall into December the past two years and I'm happy with that. Leaf lettuce seems to work best. Now you have some ideas of what to grow in your winter garden. You can also get ideas from seed businesses online. With the exception of kale and minutina, which do best when started indoors from seed around the 1st of August, the rest should be direct sowed into your winter beds. Happy gardening!